the tales of Alicia Moore's pipe singer is mounted. The of Alicia 500 was a unique year. The tales of Alicia Moore's pipe singer is mounted. The of Alicia 500 was a unique year. Hey guys, uh, how are you doing? Uh, so this is the progress or this is an update to the short animated series that I'm working on. I've decided again is to work using a low poly version look. Uh, so I just decided to go with a medieval, uh, more kind of a realistic look. And uh, this is uh, the introduction or the title. Yes, I don't know. Yeah. The tales of Alicia Moore's buying scene is The of Alicia 500. And I've uh, decided to just do everything within Blender, even the editing, uh, getting the audio and everything. Since Blender is a all-in-one package, uh, we can also just do everything here instead of using a different uh, program. The, uh, the only thing I might decide, I might do outside Blender uh, is uh, some texturing because it's a bit faster to work in Photoshop uh, to get some simple textures. Uh, this sequence here, I've recorded a time-lapse version of it uh, that is going to be on my second channel, Blender Money. I'll be leaving the link in the description. And again, if you are new here and I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to create an, a short animated, animated series uh, for a story I have in mind just to get the idea out of my head. And uh, I've made a channel for it. Uh, already 58 of you have already subscribed. So if you want to watch the first episode when it comes out, you can go to this channel. Uh, it's called blender stories and i'll be posting stories that i make within blender and uh, sharing my workflow on uh, the two channels the two other channels i have here so if you want to subscribe to that uh, so that you can watch uh, the episode when it comes out uh, you can uh, watch you can go and subscribe to that but uh, yeah this is where we are so far the tales of alicia moore's buying scene is not and uh, maybe let me just talk about a few things that I did here. Uh, the book animation here, you can again just watch the uh, the time lapse to see how I went with how my workflow was. But uh, let me just talk about this a bit. So the way this book is animated, I'm using uh, a few bones here, how much is here. And uh, whenever you rotate this, the pages start to open. It's not super. I, it's not really you can see the best way to animate this because you can see that uh, some of these pages start to intersect with the cover but uh, in the animation you never really see that you never really see that so I don't really care about yeah that a lot because the final version you never see that happening and uh, then I just a keyframe animated uh, the, these two last pages and I also give them some shape keys animated those uh, you can see I have this da, 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 something like that yeah. that's how we get the animation let me just mute this audio for a second So then we have this uh, candle frame. It's a simple image, a frame image, candle kind of flame image. Uh, then I fed that into the base color emission and alpha. Didn't do much there, and I was able to get this frame. Uh, because I'm using EV, I also made sure that uh, uh, alpha blend is turned, sorry, blend mode is, in, is turned to alpha blend, so that I don't see the black areas, and also turn the shadows off. Uh, then to admit that, uh, what I did, I just used a displacement modifier and uh, used the object coordinates of this empty here that I animate moving up. Uh, that makes the, gives uh, the frames uh, that animation look and also added another wave animation on top of it uh, using the wave uh, modifier. Just made sure that the, the speed is really slow, so 0 0.0, 0 0.1 for the velocity every other I didn't touch any of the other settings and uh, that's you can see the frame behaves like there is wind around so I think it gives it an interesting look and uh, you can see the shadow of the of the frame of the candle is also moving uh, in 
in sync with the uh, with the flame. Uh, the way I did that is that I just parented this point light, which is emitting that light uh, and uh, causing that shadow. Parented it to the vertex, to this vertex, uh, to the vertex of this uh, uh, flame. And because that flame is unmated, uh, the, the vertices also are unmated in turn, giving the flame or this spotlight uh, is on animation, which causes the shadow to move. And I think that gives it a more realistic uh, feel because usually kind of behave like that. I did it, I wanted to have uh, a flame in, in the background there. So I did the same thing. Just uh, this time I switched out uh, the kind of flame uh, for uh, flames. And I uh, just did a simple uh, fireplace. Uh, yeah, very simple extrusion and just textured it and uh, give this again a displacement modifier and uh, a wave animation. And uh, then, yeah, the texturing here is very, very simple because I want to do this in a easier, in a very, very easy way uh, for me to, in a very easy workflow for me to handle because uh, there's a lot to do. So this is the first sequence. I've already recorded the parts of the voiceover, at least for the first episode, uh, which is supposed to be about two minutes. So let me play this back again so that, uh, yeah. The Tales of Alicia Moore's Bible Singer is mine. The Elf Alicia 500 was unique here. Yes, so that's it. If you want to subscribe, again, you can just go. If you want to watch the final episode, uh, the first episode, I don't, I'm not sure when it will be. That will depend on how fast I can produce the things. But uh, you can just subscribe to this uh, channel, Stories with Blender. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to watch the time lapse, that is going to be over my second channel, Blender Money. So you can watch that as to watch the entire process of making uh, this. Thank you.